Okay, it's finally time for another one of my stair building secrets. Now, whatever we can do to make our job easier in the construction industry, we need to do it. And I don't just mean easier, I mean more efficient. If we can build better products faster, then we're going to make more money. And I know what you guys think about that. So, here it is. What I usually do when I'm laying out my stair stringer is I make a mark. Now, I made a mark here with a felt tip pen. Now, you don't have to, and I really don't recommend doing this unless you're going to be using repetitive marks um, throughout the rest of your career. Now, I've laid out enough stairs to realize that the 10 and the 10 inch mark and then of course on the other side would be the 11 and a half inch mark so on the inside of the framing square I have a 10 inch mark and directly op opposite that on the other side of the framing square I have the 11 and a half inch mark and a lot of times you need the 11 and a half inch mark because that's what you're going to be lining the next stair tread up with so either way however you lay it out if you can lay it out through the tread side or the riser side whatever works best that's what we need to focus on so again these marks work out great if you have a framing square that's either rusted like the old metal ones or an aluminum one that's worn and you can't see the numbers so if it works do it if these tips help, then rate my videos, you guys. I need your ratings to drive me up in the search engine so I can make millions of dollars. So come on, help me out.